Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you the Patriot Extreme Viper RAM. Basically this is a DDR2 kit that I'm about to review and show you. Now this one here is revision 2 of this kit. There was an earlier kit that was 2.3 volts. The requirements for the RAM, this one is actually 2.1 volts. The memory timings are still the same, 55515 for the 1066 megahertz. And this one here we're going to overclock of course with our system and uh, get it to work and hopefully uh, get some nice results. Now this one here has some nice heat sinks on either side. So you can see the heat spreaders, 25 on either side actually for 50 of these little guys sticking out to dissipate the heat, right? So very nice stylish look to it with a nice shiny chrome lettering on the uh, on the side there. You see DDR2 and the Patriot uh, name on the other side also in chrome. So it looks uh, pretty nice. Lifetime warranty by the way and 100% tested and verified. So you know there's quality behind the name. Now the other thing here is that when you install it, you wanna make sure that the uh, notch is facing the uh, proper way and that your board supports DDR2 and not uh, only DDR3. So this won't fit on a DDR3 board, obviously. Now um, here's the memory installed already on this board with a CPU cooler. And as you can see, there is room left over between the CPU cooler and the actual uh, memory. So that's good, right? So many people ask me, will it fit, right? Will this uh, memory fit? Will the cooler fit? Well, obviously, between the cooler and the memory, there is room to spare, okay? Now, different types of memory modules might have slightly larger or smaller heat spreaders, but this one, in this case, for Patriot, works great. Now, when we boot up the system, it's the AMD Dragon test system that I'm using with the Phenom 2 overclocked, the Diamond HD 4890, the latest card, also overclocked, and other recent and new components which I've reviewed in previous videos. Now I've gone into the BIOS, I've set up the voltage, I put it at 2.2 volts just to see what happens and I also uh, did some tweaking in the memory timings to make sure that it was set to 55515 as described on the packaging and um, as it was rated. Now you can go ahead and fiddle around with that and change it but for the tests this is what I'm using along with my overclocked uh, processor of course and uh, when you go into CPU Z here to take a look at what it's uh, finding, you can see the four gigs here that are dual and uh, unganged. There's the frequencies that you have. So 508 megahertz here times two effectively, and there's the 55515 timing. So there you go. That is the proper setup that I've got, and it's stable. Now, when it comes to benchmarks, I'm always looking for more frame rates for gaming, of course. So what are the read, writes, and the latencies, right? What are the timings? And how does it compare to my other DDR2 RAM, which has slightly different timings? Well, here it is, right? I've got the Patriot read, write, and latency tests, and then I've got DDR2 800 with slightly different, uh, slower memory timings. And you can see when you compare both, there is at least a 10% increase in performance. So you know right off the bat that with this RAM you're getting more performance and with your older RAM with different memory timings. So that's one of the reasons why you would get this because you're gonna get a couple of frames per second for sure out of this, plus you're gonna be able to notice the difference in the response time. And that's why I recommend this memory because of that, right? Because of the performance that you get out of it, you, you can get 10% and more, even if you tweak it even higher and change those memory timings aggressively and increase the voltage a little bit, you can get more out of it. And that's why I like it. So I'd like to thank Patriot for providing this memory and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.